Hi folks, and thanks for joining me. Thought I would take a moment, document, and share this circuit that I threw together when I was evaluating the IF transformers for the Airline 62316. I'm taking advantage of the Arduino and using the frequency counter with a detector and capturing the voltages, and you can see as I capture that data, I'm able to take that, dump it into Excel, and create some pretty cool charts. So I've got the uh, two IF transformers uh, characterized. Again, the response will change once it's back in the circuit. But I thought I would uh, share the possibilities of the uh, circuit for folks that are just getting started in the hobby that have a limited amount of test equipment. It may add value. As you can see, I've got the serial port opened up in the Arduino interface. And I'm just taking my manual signal generator and turning the dial clockwise, going from a lower frequency to a higher frequency. And you'll notice that the voltage itself from the detector will change. You can see I'm just capturing the data from the serial port. I'll copy and paste this into Excel and that's how I've created the uh, charts that I uh, displayed. Again, you can see some of the data I collected. Uh, we'll start at the left top corner. You can see the uh, model number of the receiver, the IF uh, transformer part number, and again I have the primary and secondary. DC resistance in addition to the inductance of the coil. You can see the gain. Both of these transformers in this particular receiver are step-up transformers. So this particular one has a gain of 1.9 times or 5.63 dB. You can see I wanted to look at the 70.7% point or minus 3 dB to determine the bandwidth there. And you can see I'm just north of uh, 10 kilohertz. So with the AM band spacing at 10 kilohertz. This is a pretty good filter and my guess is the performance of the filter once it's back in the circuit we get rid of some of the stray capacitance. A proper alignment will bring this thing more narrow and you can see the calculations for uh, Q as well that gave me a, a 40.2 for the uh, quality factor. Again that's taking the uh, FO which is the center frequency divided by F2 versus F1, which would be the upper frequency limit minus the lower frequency limit. The higher the Q, of course, the more narrow the bandwidth, as you can see when we look at the results from the second IF transformer. All the data points are the same for the second IF transformer, and you can see a little bit of difference. The uh, voltage gain of this particular transformer measured just a bit higher at 2.4 times, or 7.7 .7 dB. And you can see the uh, quality factor as well, more narrow bandwidth at 45.7. So a pretty neat way to uh, characterize a IF transformer out of circuit. Again, once this is placed back in the circuit, the capacitance itself and the impedance of the circuit will change the resonant frequency of the IF transformer. But this is a, a good way for those that don't have a sweep generator to be able to uh, sweep through an IF transformer and at least evaluate your repairs and or create a new IF transformer from scratch. Let's take a look at the uh, circuit itself real quick and then we'll demo my little prototype build and again share the uh, schematic itself. You guys can uh, build this and the sketch and the uh, schematic can be found on the uh, Google Drive. You can just check out the video description here for a link. Here's an example of how I have the IF transformer connected. You can see the uh, primary side is uh, tested first, and then I just flip the transformer around and do the same wiring hookup with the secondary taking the place of the primary. Hope that makes uh, sense, but that's a way to align both the uh, primary and secondary. 
as close as possible to the uh, resident frequency before actually uh, looking at the data points themselves. You can see the simple preamplifier stage just using a VC 547 transistor and that feeds over to a uh, detector diode, a 1N34A, that being D1. And then you can see I placed uh, diode 2, which is a white LED. So we're able to pass enough current through the circuit when it resonates at the peak point. You can see in the uh, split screen here, the LED will illuminate the brightest. So it gives you a nice visual representation as well to the peak of the uh, IF frequency in addition to the uh, voltage reading itself on the uh, OLED display. Again, a very straightforward and easy circuit to, to build and put together. You can see my prototype build, and I'm using a plastic clamp here for the uh, IF filter back to the bench just to uh, reduce the uh, capacitance itself. My manual signal generator is uh, not extremely accurate, so it drifts around, but you can see I'm very close to my 465 uh, kilohertz signal. And my connections right now are peaking the primary coil, so you can see if I rotate this around and look at the detector voltage, you'll notice it changes. By the way, the 70.7% or minus 3 dB point is calculated in the Arduino sketch. So once we peak the detector at the maximum voltage, you can see I'm rounding to uh, three decimal points, so it's extremely sensitive. And again, you'll get some stray capacitance as well. So somewhere around there, and you can see my minus 3 dB point is 0 0.790. So if I go back to the signal generator and rock it north and look for a voltage of 0 0.790 on the detector voltage, and make note of that frequency, the 467.85, and then we'll go down low in frequency and do the same thing. Okay, about there, that's as close as I can get, 458.63. We can subtract the difference and get a pretty close estimate of the bandwidth itself of the IF filter on the primary side. Again, I can just reverse the leads here the blue and the yellow clip and do the same for the secondary. That's how the uh, circuit works. It's really straightforward if you just want to use the OLED and do the math or again as you saw you can copy and paste uh, the data from the uh, serial uh, port itself or use hyper terminal or another and just capture the file and import that into Excel. You can see the circuit itself can be used as a uh, normal frequency counter as well. Up to about 6 megahertz. Again, if I bypass the IF transformer under test and just tie the two leads here together, you can see we can read the uh, frequency itself. And of course, we're still reading detector voltage, converting the uh, sine wave voltage. And you can see the uh, LED light here illuminate. I'll adjust the uh, output level. You can see the light possibly dimming here if it's showing up. Full power. The uh, sensitivity of the uh, frequency counter in this particular option is uh, not ideal. I'm using a 10 picofarad capacitor on the input side. So again, if you wanted to increase that, you could go to uh, like a 0.1 microfarad uh, capacitor and of course increase the voltage as well for whatever circuit that you would attach this to. My best performance in uh, this particular configuration for testing the uh, response of the IF transformer was a 10 picofarad 
capacitor on the input side not to uh, load the circuit down. I appreciate you guys watching. Everyone out there, take care.